Chapter 32 Tugging at their hair, my aunt and uncle screamed, and then they lowered their hands and closed their mouths, and a calm seemed to sweep over them. As Hannah and I stared down at them, Uncle Colin and Aunt Mata helped each other to their feet. They brushed each other off, smoothed down their hair. When they finally gazed up at us, I saw tears in their eyes. Thank you, they both cried. Thank you for saving us, Uncle Colin exclaimed. And then they rushed up the hill to hug us, hug us so joyfully. You freed us from the curse, Aunt Mara declared, tears running down her face. The moon reached the highest point in the sky, and we didn't transform. Colin and I are no longer werewolves. How can we ever thank you, Uncle Colin cried. You are both so wonderful, so brave. So hot, I grumbled. I can't wait to get out of this itchy skin. Everyone laughed. Let's go back to our house, Art Mata cried. We'll have a real celebration. The four of us hurried back to the house. We laughed and joked all the way. Uncle Colin and Art Mata made the way in through the kitchen door. Homemade donuts, Art Mata promised, and big mugs of hot chocolate. How does that sound? Sounds great, Hannah and I agreed. Hannah started to follow them into the house, but I held her back. Let's dump the skins next door, I said. No one will ever need them again. Let's dump them in the abandoned house. She hesitated. She seemed afraid to go back into that dark, empty house. But I went running over to the Marlins' house. I couldn't wait to take off the hot, smelly wolf skin. I pulled myself onto the window ledge, then lowered my legs into the open bedroom window. I stepped into the room. Pale moon moonlight washed over the bare floorboards. Hannah dropped into the room behind me. Alex? She called. I started to tug off the heavy wolf skin, but something near the closet caught my eye. I stopped and walked over to it. A folded up wolf skin lay on the floor against the wall. Huh? I let out a startled cry and turned to Hannah. How can there be a wolf skin in here? I asked. There were only two of them, right? You put one on and you gave one to me. Hannah stepped up beside me, her eyes locked on mine. I didn't wear the one from this house, Alex, she said softly. I used my own. I just got it last night. Huh? I cried. I don't get it. You will, she whispered. She knocked me to the floor with her heavy forepaws and sank her teeth into my chest.